Welcome to Enabling Disk Quotas. Now, in a separate video earlier in the course, I went through a video entitled NTFS Disk Quotas, and I talked about what these disk quotas are. And in this video, let's take a look at turning NTFS disk quotas on. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to go to the administrative tools. And if you remember, way back in an interface tour video, I pinned the administrative tools icon to the taskbar. Now if I hit the Windows key, which is that key just to the left of my spacebar, it'll take me out to the Start menu and there's my administrative tools. And as a brief refresher, if I just right click on that tile there, I can pin it to the taskbar. Now mine's already pinned, so it's wanting to unpin it now. But we'll just leave it pinned and then I'll just go back out to the desktop. But that is how that administrative tools link got there. And so I will open the computer management tool from my administrative tools. So I'll double click that. It will open that up. And right here under storage, I will go into disk management. Now notice I'll connect to the virtual disk service down here. And you will see that I only have one volume defined on my machine at this point. Uh, it is a simple volume and it's a basic disk. And let me show you one thing here, a quick pointer. If I right click here, I don't see anything about basic or dynamic. But if I want to convert it to dynamic, I have to click over here on the disk itself. On this disk zero section, I can right click here and I can convert to dynamic. So anyway, a little aside there. Let's get back to disk quotas. So if I come down here to the disk itself, right click and go to properties, you will see the quota tab. Now I'm going to left click and drag this up so we can see it front and center. But I'll go to the quota tab and notice I can enable quota management. I can deny disk space to users who exceed the quota limit. That's kind of tough. You'll have to determine based on your office politics and that sort of thing whether you want to do that or not. I'm going to leave it off for now. And I'm going to limit disk space to 100 megabytes per user. And I'll set a warning level, say at uh, 80 megabytes. And um, then I will choose to log an event when they exceed their limit and to log an event when they exceed their warning level. Now notice if I click apply, it's going to warn me that if I enable that, I will use quotas on the disk volume and it's going to have to rescan to update disk usage statistics. And this might take several minutes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say OK because I've only added one user, a user named Bob Jones. So I just went in and added a user. Now I've set up quota entries and just like that, it's done and it's OK. Now, it doesn't look like anything happened, right? Let me right click, go back into properties, move this back up so we can see it, go into quota and now I'll go into quota entries and you can see everybody there. Don't worry about these right now. But notice Bob Jones, has used 55.7 and we've got a little warning here and I can double click on Bob and I can go in and I could change him. I could say, you know what, let's allow him to have 200 and I can apply that and say OK. And so notice I overrode uh, the quota limit and it's reading 10 megabytes because I had set that earlier and it will eventually update, but it's just not updating right now. So you can see these people are above the limit. Uh, these two are OK on straight up administrators. Uh, it won't set a limit. Notice no limit here. But that is the way that we can, first of all, set up disk quotas and then override individual users.